Bar exam, cramming. Can it be done? Short answer, yes. I'm going to alert you to how to do it the right way so you get the best results and don't end up sabotaging yourself. Hi, I'm Jennifer Duclair, Bar Exam Mindset Mentor, helping you to get past your mindset blocks so that you can pass the bar. If you're a procrastinator in the crowd, there is a method to that madness. You may not be fully aware of it, but procrastination forces you to have to cram. Cramming is a means of overcoming mindset blocks that you have no other way of dealing with. I'm going to alert you to what you need to know so that you do it right and you avoid the pitfalls. I was coaching one of my Bar Prep Connect members. Her deal was procrastination, which usually leads to cramming. So in her case, she procrastinated so she could get to the point of cramming so that she could, one, have an out, alleviate the blame if she failed, because that way she can say, I didn't have enough time to study. There's nothing more I can do about it. Two, so that she could end the perfectionism because there's always more you could study. There's always more you could do. But if you wait till the last minute, then you can't do anymore. You can't study anymore. You have to stop at a certain point. So people who have a hard time being satisfied with enough are people who tend to procrastinate so that they can use cramming as a way to get past that mindset hurdle. Finally, it's when you see the big picture and the big picture is overwhelming. It just looks like there's so much that has to be done, usually because you know that each step of the way, you're going to have this really high bar for yourself. And so the whole looks very overwhelming because you know that you're going to do a military boot camp thing on yourself for each single little section along the way. If you know that about yourself, then chances are you uh, would procrastinate in order to encourage cramming at the last minute. And I'll tell you, it's not a bad thing. You found a way to work with your mindset blocks. You found a way to work past your limitations and to succeed anyway. It's gotten you this far. If you're taking the bar exam right now, you have gotten uh, further in life than a lot of people have in this particular academic arena. So It's worked for you, but here's why it may not. When you procrastinate and end up cramming, you're going to find that the act of cramming is fueled by fight flight hormones, urgency because of a looming deadline. So you push yourself using those hormones as fuel, which is fine. The adrenaline is fine when it's in short bursts and in a contained period of time. But if you're doing six weeks of cramming because you didn't start studying for the bar until six weeks out, that adrenaline rush is not sustainable. You're going to drop out of sheer exhaustion, but with not enough time on the clock to rest and come back. That's one thing. Second, that adrenaline rush means that blood is leaving your head most importantly, the front part of your brain, where it needs to be in order for you to learn and retain. And instead, that blood is rushing to your limbs. And now you're sitting with a whole bunch of nervous energy that you're forcing through a funnel, through a bottleneck of concentration onto your study. So yeah, you might be hyper-focused because those fight-flight hormones are meant to keep you alive and it's going to alert all your senses. So you may be hyper-focused, but there's a lot of excess energy going around on the outside. And the way to alleviate that excess energy is either to compulsively overstudy, which is going to exhaust you and not benefit your brain, or to do some kind of stress relieving exercise to get all the energy out of you. By the time you do that, you'll be so relaxed that you'll be the opposite of focused and the opposite of determined, right? So it's one extreme or the other if you're relying on cramming for the bar exam. If this was a one month reading period for multiple law classes and you might have a a chance to rest in between studying, by all means cram. If you were doing this as a kind of forced artificial cramming session at the beginning of bar prep, forcing yourself through the material as quickly as you can at the beginning of bar prep, by all means cram. But if you are literally actually waiting until the last minute to cram all that information into your head, then you have all those 
drawbacks of the hormone rush, the adrenaline fight flight stuff going on. The last reason why cramming is not going to work out for you for bar exam prep is because there's so much information that you need to know that it is actually best learned and tucked away as long-term memory. And to do that in a way that you make sure that it becomes long-term memory, I often encourage the time-space repetition method. And we teach you how to do that and actually lay out the schedule for you to be able to plug your subjects in and rotate them in a way to allow that time-space repetition to take place. We have that resource for you inside bar exam ready. So if you have trouble getting started sooner, your, your best course of action is to look at why you're procrastinating and handle the mindset block there. Now, if you're anything like me, you didn't know that there were resources to actually deal with procrastination. You may not have even realized that what you're doing is called procrastination. You could have just seen that you have family responsibilities or you're working so hard and you're too tired to start studying or you need to decide what course to use this time, all kinds of very rational type of things could present themselves as the reason why you're not studying, when really and truly, there's probably a, a slew of mindset reasons why you haven't gotten started yet. We name them above, you know, the perfectionism, the high bar, um, always driving yourself to do more and more and more, and the fear of failure because if you don't give yourself a long runway, you have that excuse that you didn't have enough time to study. If you find yourself running into any of these kinds of mindset blocks that are keeping you from starting sooner and consistently following through with a daily study regimen, we help you on all fronts, from creating that effective, streamlined, tailored bar prep schedule for yourself, to getting over the mindset blocks that keep you from getting started, to support and accountability to keep you moving through steadily all season long. And if you want to get any bit of that support, just look below. You'll find an entryway into our world. You can start indulging in some of the free resources we have, and you will get in your email an opportunity to schedule a call with me, a free consult, so that I can help point you in the direction that you need to go so you can get studying sooner and maximize your chances to beat the bar.